I'm Jared Fry, General Manager of Medina TV. Hi, and I'm Jacqueline Rinksmeyer, Executive Director of the Greater Medina Chamber of Commerce. The mission of the Chamber of Commerce is to serve our member investors and promote business interests through economic development, business advocacy, and member services, which benefits the Greater Medina community. The Chamber is funded by voluntary membership from the business community. It is a not-for-profit, non-partisan business organization and we do not receive tax dollars to operate the organization. The Chamber does not endorse candidates but strives to educate the voters on both the candidates and the issues. And we are pleased to partner with Medina TV to bring these interviews to you. This program would not be possible without this collaboration. So thank you to our interviewer, Jared Fry, and our producer, Matt Tomick. And as always, the views expressed in these interviews do not necessarily reflect those of Medina TV or the Greater Medina Chamber of Commerce. We thank you for tuning in to the 2022 Candidates Forum and remind you to vote on November 8th. Joining me now in studio is Jeffrey A. Crossman, a candidate for the Office of Attorney General. Uh, thank you for joining us today, Jeff. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Yeah, for the viewers and our voters at home, why don't you just take a few minutes and just tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I am, I've been practicing law for 21 years. Uh, I currently serve in the Ohio State House. I serve Ohio's 15th House District uh, in Columbus, but representing primarily the city of Parma, but also southwest neighborhoods of Cleveland. Served on city council for five years in Parma, and uh, like I said, practicing attorney for 21 years and uh, decided to try and serve my state and serve my community by uh, running for the uh, legislature. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people may not know, uh, being on the state level for this position, what exactly is the role of the Attorney General? The Attorney General has very vast and broad powers other than the governor's office. Uh, it, I can't think of another statewide office that has as much impact on people's daily lives as the Attorney General's office. You may not see it, you don't get the attention, but certainly it does. It has an office of civil rights, has an office related to environmental concerns, workers' compensation, um, you know, certainly criminal issues, and, and uh, the largest role is probably consumer protection. Now, what would you say, uh, if elected to the position, are, 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 I guess, three goals or three things you'd be most passionate about uh, in the Attorney General's office? Well, first and foremost, we have to rid our state of the massive corruption problem that's plagued our state for at least the last 20 years. You know, we started off in early 2000s when we had Governor Taft, the first sitting governor, charged with a crime related to corruption uh, over the CoinGate scandal. Remember, the state uh, pension funds were being invested in rare coins that went later went missing. Um, that was a few million dollars, and we've had scandals every few years uh, bigger and more prevalent than ever before, including ECOT, that was the charter school scandal in 2018, several million dollars, uh, now culminating in the largest public corruption scandal in the state's history, the House Bill 6 First Energy Bribery Scandal, and uh, that's the scandal that made, FBI, made the FBI dis, uh, uh, peg Ohio as uh, number one in the country in statewide corruption, and uh, which is telling because I, I, you know, I met with the state of Illinois, their attorney general, and uh, he kind of joked and said, how is it that Ohio has somehow overtaken states like Illinois? And, um, you know, because, you know, we don't have accountability in our, in our state. Um, I think we do a pretty good job of holding local folks accountable, commissioners and councilmen, but we don't pay attention to what's happening at the state house. And for far too long, we've seen more and more scandals, bigger and growing every, every, every few years. Now, as you've expanded and doing your campaigning here across the state of Ohio, what are the concerns that you've heard from, from the constituents that you would like to carry into the position? Well, certainly people are, have uh, corruption on their minds, right? Uh, also the opioid epidemic. I think over the last four years, people have stopped paying attention to the opioid epidemic. We had started to make some progress um, previous to that. Um, I saw some progress when I was on city council, for example. But in the last four years, Ohio has really uh, had an alarming increase in opioid in, uh, overdose and deaths. Even now that we know, you know, the harmful effects of, you know, uh, prescription drugs and, you know, where this stuff is coming in from, uh, we have to do a better job. Certainly the Attorney General's office should be doing a better job in reversing that trend to make sure that um, our children are safe from these, uh, these toxic uh, chemicals that are invading our communities. Again, speaking with Jeff Crossman, candidate for Attorney General for the state of Ohio, uh, what do you feel are your skill sets that you bring uh, to the office of the Attorney General? Well, like I said, being an attorney, I've, uh, being in the private sector, um, representing 
both uh, individuals and big businesses all the way in between. And uh, I think that has given me a great skill set, uh, whether it's a litigation matter or a business transaction matter, to really understand all sides of the issues and all different types of facets of, of what it takes to practice law. Being a legislator, I've seen the, you know firsthand the role of what the legislature can and should be doing and to, to make people's lives better and how we can use public policy to make things better here in the state of Ohio. Now, what type of leadership uh, qualities, uh, and even back to your skill sets also, do you feel you have that may differentiate you from your opponent? Well, I'm very tenacious. Uh, I think, you know, I have some integrity. I think I'm proud to say, you know, I was the one that stood on the floor of the Ohio House two years ago and demanded Larry Householder, who was accused of being the orchestrator of the largest public corruption scandal in state's history. I stood on the floor of the House and uh, demanded that he be expelled from the House. And of course, he was, uh, the other side voted to keep him there. He was reelected, and when he came back, um, I continued to, to uh, agitate and persuade, and and uh, uh, you know it took six months. But you know if it wasn't for folks like myself and others who joined me in that effort, uh, I think Larry Householder would still be there collecting a taxpayer-funded paycheck, and uh, instead of uh, expelled, being the first legislator expelled from the Ohio General Assembly since the Civil War. And um, I point that out because you know I have not been afraid to stand up to very powerful people and call out what I think is right because a lot of these issues you know a lot of people like to go into their corners and say well I support the right or I support the left a lot of these issues aren't right or left they're just right and wrong and we need more leaders in our government uh, to step into the breach and to uh, find ways to be bridges not wedges and I think there's too much division in our country right now in our state and we need leaders that are going to step into the into the bre breach and actually bring people together instead of push them apart now uh, of course working in government what was your drive uh, that's pushed you here to make the run for attorney general well, I've been, honestly, I like to say I've, I've seen how the sausage is made and it makes me want to be a vegetarian. Um, but truthfully, you know, as much as I have been uh, deeply disappointed in our state legislature and our state government and the fact that we have one party rule all the way up and down our ticket, um, you know, we, I, I, you know, you could get depressed or you can get to work, right? So um, I decided to step up and run for this because I think Ohio needs some balance in its state government and uh, we need some folks are, are willing to, to call out what they think is wrong and hold folks accountable for what is going wrong. Mm -hmm. Again, speaking of Jeff Crossman, uh, you'll see him as Jeffrey A. Crossman on the ballot for Attorney General uh, this November. Uh, you've been great in answering my questions and, and appreciate you taking the time to do that, but I want to give you a few moments in case there's something I didn't touch on uh, that you'd like to share with our voters and the viewers, so I'll turn the microphone over to you now. I appreciate it. Well, look, I think people need to know that I'm just like most people in Ohio. I grew up uh, son of a single mom, you know, who uh, raised three of us children on a very tight budget and, uh, you know, just wanted an opportunity, just like most kids in this state do and you know I'm, I'm fighting in this state to make sure that people have the same opportunity I did a good public education uh, willingness to work hard to get ahead uh, I knew nev nothing was ever going to be given to me that I was going to have to earn it and that's why I went to college I was able to work through college to make that happen and I went to uh, school law school uh, by, while working full-time uh, and going to school at night so um, I think these are the opportunities people all want but I think you know for too long people have had to uh, you know struggle harder than they should because their government hasn't been working for them. So that's why I'm in this race and that's what I'm fighting for. Again, uh, you'll see him as Jeffrey A. Crossman on the ballot and uh, he'll be running for the Office of Attorney General this November and I appreciate you running and taking part of the political process and I wish you the best of luck this November. Great. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, thank you.